Hey everyone on the internet. I gotta talk to you because of it. Nothing matters. That's why we're going over Blangmire, who I think is really cool, and I'm going to spend too much money on it. So let's go over it. Uh, we got the grade zero. In the grade one, uh, when it's wrote upon, look at top three, put all your grade ones or greater from among them, put them into soul, uh, put the bottom in any order if you want. Uh, if you put two or more, you do get a draw card, so I recommend at least throwing everything you can. There's literally nothing in this deck that you cannot throw in it. I, I guess except triggers. Uh, the grade two is when you grow upon by Blagmire. You reveal the top three, put all grade ones. You know, it sounds very familiar, doesn't it? Uh, draw a card if you did two or more. Once again, all of these apply. Triggers do not. But, you know, that is deck thinning for crit sacking. So, obviously, for those of you who don't know, Blagmire, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, binds up to four but at least two cards from your soul face down and you may draw a card if you bound four or more cards your opponent chooses two of their rear guards binds them face down and this unit gets plus 5k until every until end of turn for every two face down cards in your bind zone don't forget specifically yours so not what your opponent just bound down through the turns now this is really cool and pretty fun because if you're against someone who's playing Stokea, they don't get the drop recursion. Especially if you limit their rear guards uh, continuously through the turns. So eventually, maybe they'll have to bind face down their roaming prisons, which will surely irritate them. But all of you who should know this card know it for the divine skill. At the start of the guard step, so don't forget when attack abilities will still proc before this, which is very important. Because end of the battle, this unit attacked. If you have eight or more face down cards in your bind zone, you can get have this thing get critical one, and your opponent cannot call or play sentinels from hand until end of turn, and choose one of your opponent's rear guards, and it loses all of that ability, and all sentinels are nullified until uh, end of their turn. So don't forget, this also includes Elementari because it has the Sentinel keyword, which makes it a very intimidating thing because you basically, in this game of lower guard, have to rely solely on the triggers they have because this thing gets massive. Because just alone, it gets plus 5k until end of turn for every two face down. You need eight, meaning you get four. Uh, there's four instances of this ability to resolve. That's plus 20. So that's already 33 with a crit from the Divine Skill. If you Persona Road, because you can only use this Divine Skill on your fourth turn, that's 43 critical to no Sentinels. Uh, I haven't even drive checked. And that's not even the scariest thing about this deck. Let me tell you, you're actually more scared of their rear guards. <laughs> or at least just the way I've built this deck. You guys can build it different ways. I'm trying to be hyper, hyper aggressive, but still have some semblance of play past the grade four, you know, divine skill where the vanguard uh, is basically being used to, you know, bind your own just to get some power and maybe uh, bind your opponent's rear guards. Going over the main deck, we have three instances of Cage of Furious Star, which is a com uh, common or rare order, I forget which, that I personally like and I think is going under looked at. You Soul Charge 1, which is already going for the deck. Don't forget, you don't really need to Soul Charge. Once you get 8, you basically don't have to do anything anymore unless you want to bind your opponent's face down. Uh, but you choose a grade 3 or less card from your soul and call it to rear, and it gets power plus 5k. So you get some pretty consistent, good consistency. Uh, the grade 3 you're choosing outside of Blagmire is One Strike Crush Colossus, <coughs> who is, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, if you have 4 or more face down cards in your bind zone, which you can have on your first swing of the Vanguard, this unit gets plus 10k until end of that turn. 
And if you did at the end of the battle, put this into soul. So this is just a quick, fun way to make this a 28k attacker. And of course, when this unit is put into soul by your card's ability, if your Vanguard is a grade three or greater with Blagmire in its card name, bind this face down and draw a card. So if you're not really wanting to continuously bind, you know, four from soul, uh, you can do this just to draw a card if you're lacking. <clears throat> I find myself using it occasionally, but for the most part, I don't pay attention to that draw half. Because we have Steam Gunner over here to uh, counter blast or energy blast three, draw a card. At this moment, I'm just using it for energy blast because outside of the seven, if you notice, you know, Blagmire doesn't use in Colossus, <coughs> none of its uh, things except Zamoog over there uses energy. So it's kind of a free resource I'm getting back considering I'm not always getting rid of this. So it's just the energy I got for turn. <clears throat> but of course, when this is placed on rare, if you persona ride this turn, counter blast or energy blast, you may uh, soul charge, which once again is pretty important. And until end of this turn, this unit gets boost and power plus 5k. Yeah, it's pretty okay. Once again, this is the thing I'm using for draws. Now, uh, this card is the bane of people's existence in testing. Uh, when this unit is placed on rear guard, if you have a vanguard, you know, with Blagmire, <coughs> uh, counter blast one, reveal the top three, put any number of cards from among them, and if, you know, this time put one or more, draw a card, so it's a better version of the ride line. However, <coughs> the thing people hate me for the most, when this unit attacks, if you have a grade three or greater vanguard with Blagmire in its card name, and this unit's critical is one or less, energy blast three, this unit gets plus 5k and a crit till end of that battle until end of battle so think about it it doesn't restand but we'll get to that uh might have many of you might notice this from alamagistar you know i'm throwing it in here for its top effect when it's placed on rear guard from hand Counter Blast 1. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Choose a card from among them. Put it into hand. Choose a card from among them and put it into soul. Discard the rest. So not only are you getting a searched draw, a soul, you're also thinning the deck further. <coughs> I can't really help you of what you're looking for. It's really just depending on what your board needs. This deck is a very much... If you don't have what you have, you need to think of the line to get it more so than many other decks. Think of it of like Zorga, but you don't have your orders. So you got to quickly find a way to get one. <clears throat> Here's Evoked Alchemist, who is pretty good, I like. During the turn of this battle, if you have a grade 3 or greater, you know, Vanguard with Blagmire, it's a 13k booster. Uh, but if it's boosting your Vanguard, oh, this is evil. <clears throat> when this unit boosts a grade 3 or greater, you know, Blagmire... It gets an additional 2k, meaning it's a 15k supporter. Once again, Blagmire is just way too big at this point. And if you have four or more face down cards in your bind zone, so when your Vanguard swings the first time and you do all four, counter blast one, choose one of your front row rear guards, stand it. <clears throat> now, if you qualify for your divine skill, eight or more, it also gets plus 15k. Now, think about it. Who's a re-standing critical rearguard that you can have at bind 8? That's right. With the cost of energy blast 3, this is going to swing for at least 25k if you persona road. Crit 2, you swing with your vanguard. Very big. Don't forget, <coughs> you're going to waste their... If they want to waste their sentinels and discards, go for it because... You know, when you swing with your Vanguard, they lose that ability. And they're critical. And oh no, this was 25k before. It's now getting plus 15 to make it a 40k crit 2 rear guard. Oh no. <laughs> and don't forget, you can still boost with something for 15k. 55, no Sentinels. You've already used most of your hand to guard Blagmire. Uh oh. 
Uh, but of course, this new card really makes me happy because it extends the play of Blagmire. Uh, Steam Artist Arvin. When this unit is placed on Rearguard, not only do you Soul Charge, if you have Blagmire, instead of Soul Charge 1, you get a look at the top two of your cards and choose two cards from among them and put them in Soul. If not, I shuffle my deck. So, how this looks is you can basically choose which you Soul Charge 1 and keep your deck if it's a trigger or just throw them all in. However, at the end of the turn, if the critical of your Vanguard was increased by its divine skill ability this turn, retire it and draw a card. If none of your other units with the same card name as this unit was retired, your opponent gets at the beginning of your ride phase if they want to, you know, stride or ride into a new vanguard, which, you know, clears a negative default of Blagmire, they gotta discard a card from hand. Which just makes this deck so more oppressive. And I love it for it. Like, it's the whole reason I played Mushi King was it's stunned the Vanguard and my opponent had to, you know, either Persona Ride or go off, you know, to fix themselves. This one is, if you want your ability, it's essentially the same thing, except this is so much more oppressive in that mid-game. Which is why, if you look at my triggers, I normally have the, you know, the Nations one. But this one, I urge you. Play the red OT. Because not only are you giving, you know, your vanguard what could be a million power, which then your opponent really just has to take it regardless. And when it's like, oh, why don't I play the blue OT and get something back from drop and, you know, hit them for crit three? Well, at the end of the battle, this unit attacked. Stand this unit. That's why. If you did not choose a card, draw a card and choose up to one unit card from your hand and call it a rear that so that's good resource management but once again let's look back to that grade two you have two of these things you swing with one you swing with the other you swing with van hey look evoked alchemist stands one of them oh you check the red ot how about you just stand it again oh no it's at a million power Hitting twice. And you're not allowed Sentinels. It's a very Wind More card. Because don't forget, he's still critical. Uh, but yeah. Blagmire's a lot of fun. And let's uh, see if I can't show you guys just a test hand. For the most part, you know. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. One, two, three, four. It's always my luck. I should have just kept the starting hand. But. Alright, let's deck shuffle. Also, got to count. Shout out my boy, Suo. Alright, uh, let's say we go first. No. Draw. Uh, we're playing four of them. So, you can discard that for a ride. We're going to look at the top three. <clears throat> uh, yep. Soul. Soul. Uh, don't worry if you put your Persona Rides in there. It's really not that big of a deal. Deck Shuffle. And then, because I, need, I needed two or more, I will draw a card. I shuffled the deck like three times. Come on. That was a crit <laughs> critical. All right, uh, my opponent's turn, I'll take two, because they see Blagmire, the best way to do this is rush. Okay, what are the odds? This app either hates me, or Blagmire hates me more than I thought. All right, my turn. Nope, oh, nope. You're in my damage, sir. Uh, we now get energy three at this point. Get rid of crit. I just don't want my opponent to know that I can't. I have one less heal. Ride deck. Go. Ride. Same song and dance. I hate my life. Deck shuffle, deck shuffle, deck shuffle. 
Uh, at this point, I do gotta go a little bit more aggressive, so I'm gonna call Zamoog for that on place. Uh, but I don't have a great threat reader, so actually we're going to bring that to hand. Sorry, I, even though I explain cards, I'm very forgetful sometimes. All right, we're gonna swing, drive check, critical trigger. All right, cool. All right, their turn. I'm going to take three points of damage because I normally do. Uh, now I'm just going to go to two just because I got a defensive. I really got a defensive. They're not pushing me to three. <coughs> All right, my turn. Stand. Draw. Energy. Charge three. And I am once again going to ditch. Uh, we are going to ride. Yeah, I'm now only realizing I messed that up. Oh, well. Uh, we are going to... Soul. Soul. Uh, because we need to catch up on Soul game just a little bit. Soul. I already have a Persona right in hand. You only need the one. <clears throat> so now, now we're going to call. Of course, I'm going to counter blast for right now. Once again... Reveal the top three. Oh, wait, I do get a draw card. Give me a second. Thank you. Look, <clears throat> top three. Um, we only need to put one. So, solve that. Deck shuffle. Draw. Oh, look at all the evokes just coming out. <clears throat> At this point, I don't need to. I'm already at Soul, ni uh, Soul 9. So I'm going to swing. I'm going to swing again. Activate the effect. Soul. At this point, it doesn't matter. Uh, one, two, three, four. They're all face down, technically. But... Now my opponent removes two of their uh, rare guards. Considering they just swung at me a lot, they're definitely going to have rare guards. I now draw a card. Evoked really likes me, apparently. And, you know, it then gets a Persona effect. I didn't just didn't want to find the plus 10. And this is before drive checks. So let's say they take it. Uh, heal trigger. Heal trigger. Because they're at two right now. Heal another. So now I can really afford to take some damage. I have nine cards in hand. <clears throat> you know, it's their turn. Uh, I can take damage. So one, two, three. Oh no. My turn draw into Blagmire. See, already. Call this uh, play order. Soul charge one. Look at soul. Call power plus five. And that's basically it. They're at three. <clears throat> um, all depends on how I want to do this, <clears throat> mainly because I have the restandard. Uh, swing. Energy three. Yeah, if they want to guard it, they can. I'm sorry. So that's swinging like 28. Yeah. Just got to double check. Always got to double check. All right. Vanguard swing. A divine. Solist. Once again, doesn't actually matter anymore. So now this thing gets plus 20. My opponent can no longer, you know, get sentinels or anything. Now I have eight in bind. Critical. So, this thing, here, let's, let's actually have this thing do math. So, this is swinging. 
because this is boosting this thing gets plus power five and plus power two yeah so uh 58 no sentinels you haven't gotten the defensive all right twin drive all right not the best but you know activate evoked counter blast one stand power 15 it will be critical too all right uh yeah let's swing oh yeah 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 uh it also gets power plus 10k 46 cool 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 uh swing crit 235 uh any of those were lethal if they took blagmire for extra guard <clears throat> oh and hey at the end of the turn now if they survived if the critical my vanguard was increased by the divine skill which it was i now retire it yeah if you want your ability back you gotta call over your vanguard and discard a card and i have how much that's 20k guard uh 35 uh 50 65 i have 80 card just with uh critical i got a little unlucky with pgs but i always do and at that point you know we can end turn they they can try as they might but all right so i wasn't going to heal out of that who would have guessed with three of my uh, heals and hands but that's more or less how you play blackmire you get to your comfortable soul level mine is around nine just so i can you know use his effect and keep binding all four at the same time because it's really impressive to my opponent when you have to bind two of your cards face down meaning you're never going to see them again and at least in you know standard i think the only thing <coughs> that cares about its bind was the dragon of whom we will not name but dominated the meta for quite some time and even though i said dominated it's not sure anyway but uh yeah if you made it this far thank you so much for watching it's a little bit longer more, more of my deck videos but that's because i'm so excited about blagmire no people have no idea i was a straight stokea person but you know with desireful dolls blagmire oh i might become a dark states guy <laughs>